Hi guys, uh, here we go. Essay number five. This is a cause and effect argumentative paper. It's a research topic. So you choose a topic based on your major or a topic you believe to be interesting to you. You may use Chavy's library and or the internet um, inter internet sources for this paper, a minimum of three resources. Okay. The last paper, I was staunchly uh, adamant that you use Chafee's Gale opposing viewpoint so that you got used to uh, or learn how to use that resource. We do need you to learn how to use Chafee resources, but this one will be internet. Just make sure your internet sources are credible and not biased. And there's a lot um, of support for you through the week to learn what that means and how to find those. Your proposal, you have a research log again for this one, a rough draft, pair mark, and final drafts. Remember if you do uh, two extra pair marks, one, you're getting that super great exposure of looking at someone else's paper for the text structure, answering high level questions, you're looking for those elements in each person's essay, plus you get double extra credit points. Okay, so um, I believe this is your last extra credit for the semester. So if you are wanting to boost your grade a little bit, make sure that you do those. Really, really good exercise for you to do. As always, I need a proposal, the intro with a working thesis, rough draft. In this case, you have your proposal. You don't have an intro and working thesis. You have your research log and then your rough draft. Your research log is in place of the proposal I'm sorry, in the place of the working thesis and the intro. Alrighty, so argument. An argument is not the same thing as a quarrel. The goal of an argument is not to attack your opponent or to impress your audience. The goal of an argument is to offer good reasons in support of your conclusion. Reasons that are all parties to your dispute can accept. In academic writing, an argument is usually a main idea, often called a claim or a thesis statement backed up with evidence that supports your idea. The rest of your paper will detail the reasoning and evidence that have led you to believe that your position is the best one. The article by Jennifer Medina entitled Rough Times Take Boom, Bloom Off New York's Right Rose Parade relays a problem in 2011 retaining to floats participants during the time of high unemployment, budget cuts, detrimental optics when spending upwards of 200,000 to produce a float, Several longtime sponsors decided to bow out. For example, the Clydesdales representing Budweiser, they decided to use the advertising dollars in a more targeted manner. Um, that was in paragraph 14. And then Rainbird, a sprinkler company, company in Azusa, they couldn't justify the budget when they had recently closed a plant, laid off hundreds of workers. That's paragraph 17, so they didn't want to have a float. In these times uh, when society as a whole is suffering, it's difficult to carry on with traditions and act as though nothing is wrong. We can't just do the things we used to, spend the money we used to when there's a lot of issues going on in society, right? In the article on this day, Turkish airline flight 981 crashes and kills 346. One significant event that happened was the cargo door burst open causing a violent decompression. Uh, I'm just realizing I have a big space there. I don't know why, so let me apologize in advance because that's not proper formatting. I will have to go back and fix that. Uh, this is important as it was the initial cause of a sequence of events, one of which resulted in the passengers being ejected from the plane through the opening. In addition, the ultimate loss of life could have been avoided as on June 12th in 1972, this same event occurred. However, no one was injured, um, <clears throat> and that was in uh, lines five and six. It should have been a red flag and steps should have been taken to fix the problem, but sadly the FAA did not act to heed this warning. In the video Behind Closed Doors, part two, more detail is revealed about the causes and effects contributing to the deadliest crash on March 3rd, 1974. Because the cargo door was not secured properly, it flew open. As a result, when two rows of seats were sucked out of the plane, they severely damaged control cables, which then resulted in the three pilots' inabilities to correct the course of the plane via the hydraulic controls. The ultimate result on this day, um, on this fateful day, was the loss of 346 lives. In other words, there were no survivors. Topic for this paper required. The goal is to clearly research and examine a topic of your choice. You get to choose pretty wide open. Remember to provide evidence and acknowledge the opposite side's viewpoint. Based on research, give examples, solid reasons in support of your conclusion. You must include an issue, a problem, or idea about which people disagree, a claim, a main idea, a thesis. 
statement that tells readers your position on the issue. You need support, which is reasons and evidence. General statements that back up the claim, which include facts, statistics, examples, and a refutation, or you may know this as a counter argument. Acknowledgement of opposing viewpoint. Be sure to use non-biased sources as taught in this unit. Minimum of three unbiased articles, websites, sources to support the thesis. Write a research-based cause and effect argument, four to six pages. That work cited page is not page four. Page four is writing all the way to the bottom. Page five would be your work cited page. Um, that uses MLA format. Make sure your MLA format is completely correct. Left side is your name, professor's name, name of the class, and the date with the day, the month written out, and the year. Upper right hand corner, one half inch from the top, is last name and page number in the header so that when you get to page two and three, it automatically populates with those pages. Go back to the very beginning of the semester if you don't remember how to, how to set up MLA format. I give you a template and a video. That's way back in week one, I believe. Um, okay, so we need MLA format um, and works and sorry, uh, right, blah, blah, blah. let me find my place. Um, MLA format highlighting, identify thesis topics and then tr transitions. You should have been doing this all semester. Um, this is so that you say, here is my thesis, here are my topic sentences. Subconsciously, you're looking to make those, make sure those topic sentences match that thesis or come right off that thesis, that same idea. This helps you keep on track. And then you want those bridges or smooth, smooth areas of writing that, that um, connect your sentences and connect your paragraphs. Those are your transitions. So make sure you're identifying those. Those are points in your essay that are taken off if they are not evident and clear and marked. Um, so highlight your thesis, your um, a clear position, support, refutation, counterclaim, transitions. Use MLA format, cite sources, put citations in both the works cited page as well as the body of the text, which is called in-text citations. Be sure to include the source in parentheses at the end of the quote. You also have fat sentences this week, so you'll see how to do that as well. If you are still unsure how to cite, ask for help. The conclusion should reinforce the thesis make a final appeal, and may urge the reader to move into action. Use all handouts for this unit, um, as well as transition sheet and other resources as needed. Choose a topic based on your major or a topic that you believe you're interested in. So it's very wide open, guys. You may use Chafee's library or internet sources. Again, your audience. I always give you an audience who doesn't know what you're talking about so that you can appeal to them in the best way. So your audience is someone who has no knowledge of the topic you are writing about. Therefore, be clear, specific, and objective. Use formal tone, active verbs, relevant facts, statistics, examples. Remember to acknowledge the other side of the argument with a counter argument. This is a research paper told from third person point of view. There are no I's or U's in this paper, okay? The writer is reporting the facts, just telling the facts. Um, it's an attempt to persuade the reader to um, to see your side via causes and effects. No eyes, no eyes, and no use. Write a creative attention getter. Title, your intro should include background information on the issue, a clear, arguable, um, precise claim, significant claim, include well-constructed topic sentences. Each paragraph should both, um, should support both a topic sentence and thesis, the claim, contain causes and effects to support the claim, be specific, use formal tone, active verbs, relevant facts, statistics, examples, avoid fallacies, guys, no fallacies in this at all. Use transitions, um, opposition, and cause and effect from the handout. If you look at that double-sided handout I gave you, there's specifically a section for cause and effect. So go and look at those and utilize some of those. Write a strong conclusion that reinforces the thesis, make a final appeal, and may urge the reader to move into action. Make sure you're highlighting, again, that thesis in yellow, topic sentences in pink, transitions in green. Check the rubric on Turnitin for the rubric that will be used. Your proposal, simply, what is the issue? The issue I'm going to write about is, the issue I'm going to argue is, blah, blah, blah. Um, my claim is going to be, blah, blah, blah. Um, a source that I've already found on Chafee's Gale Opposing Viewpoints Library or the internet, because you can find your anywhere, okay? that It doesn't have to be that. Um, a refutation or a counterclaim that I think I might use is, some obstacles I might have, etc. Your research log is due. So you can see this takes up right at, right at takes us right to the end of the semester, okay? Meet with our pal, meet with a success center tutor at least once, get help on your paper, 
um, have them sign this or better yet turn in the receipt that they give you it's official so that you get credit for that on your paper all right if you have questions please ask guys out